What is up guys, John B here again today and we're gonna be bringing you another video on the IS300. The last video we did a little bit of suspension components, we, we installed the upper arms and we installed the end links. And now we finally got another big piece to the puzzle for the front wheel well area. And that is brakes because we know that anytime we're gonna put power in a car, we also need to be able to stop. And not only does that also make the car faster, weirdly enough, because on the track, if you can brake later than usual, you can go ahead and take a corner and take the track a lot faster than you could if your brakes weren't working. If they were failing, you'd be afraid to slow down right towards the end because you could go right into a wall. But if your brakes are good and they're dis dissipating all of the heat properly, then you know that you can have, you know, take the corners with more confidence than you would normally. So, uh, since we're going with power, we also got to go with the brakes. And here are the brakes that we decided to go with. This is a local company. They're called uh, K-Sport. They uh, help us out with the ones on the Fiesta. And now we're going to be doing it with the Lexus as well. We only ordered the front ones for now. And then we'll order the front, the rear ones later. That way we can have that, that front and rear bias as well. Um, but, you know, right now we're just trying to go as we can and on a little bit of a budget. Because this isn't really a budget build, but, you know, we're, we're taking our time to get everything uh, in order, have all the parts in so we can start, you know, building the car as we progress. Um, so let's go ahead and install. So let's go ahead and show you guys the unboxing of the brake calipers. We have the high performance brake caliper. We got them in red, 330 millimeters. Um, and then we have the other one down here. So let's go ahead and open one of these up so you, you guys can see just how much quality that these things come with. You know, people are like, oh, you gotta go with Brembo's, oh, you gotta go with Willwood and all that sort of stuff. I'm like, nah, you gotta go with K-Sport. Look at that. When have you seen a caliper that looks this good? They come powder coated. You can pick over 20,000 different DuPont colors. They actually hold the world record for the most colors, you know, that you can choose. They have like this little carbon fiber embedded into there. This is all like, titanium color like titanium burnt and then you got the little extra piece here that you can bolt to make sure that your caliper doesn't like uh, you know deform under high stress but look at that these are eight piston they've been telling us right here that they're the right side eight piston calipers four and four on on both sides these things are massive 330 millimeters are going to be the rotor uh, so we're going to show you that now let's put this back so we can throw that in the car right now so here we have the rotor, we have the brake pads, and we have the mounting brackets. So let's show you guys the rotor. That's pretty much what you guys want to see, right? These are, uh, I believe, floating rotors is what they call them. They come with stainless steel braided brake lines. Uh, it comes with like a little manual. This actually tells you the 20 world records that they hold at the moment. So that's pretty impressive. And you know, one of them is that they can do a lot of different col colors. They have like 12 pistons. Uh, and some of them, they can go up to like 444 millimeters on the brakes. So like one of the biggest rotors you can run. But we just wanted to go with 330 because uh, these actually fit under 17s. So that's what we want to run on the car. Look at this. When have you seen a rotor this nice? It's like zinc plated all the way around. It's got the billet aluminum center, center pieces. You can see where they get bolted onto. And like the, literally the whole thing is zinc plated. It's got like veins on the side so that way they, they can suck in air and then just take it out and just keep dissipating that heat, which is what helps with all the, the braking. So let's go ahead and put this on. So here we have the brackets that are gonna be mounting to the car right here where the original calipers go to our new calipers. We're gonna be using the hardware that they provided. So these 19 millimeter bolts are gonna go in. And then on the caliper, these are gonna go in and bolt the caliper down to this bracket. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and install this bracket. And uh, there, there is a left and a right side. You just gotta make sure you do it the right way.
Now we gotta remove this stuff here so we can go ahead and slip in the brand new brake pads. So now that we got everything on, we need to go ahead and do the brake pads last. And these are really easy to do because all you have to do is remove this black piece that's right here. And uh, you know, if you go to change your brake pads in the future, it's the same way. You don't have to worry about taking off your caliper like you would on the stock setup. It just makes it that much easier. I'm using a five millimeter Allen key to get these beautiful titanium, you know, burnt tip bolts. So these are the pads that we're gonna be using. We went with the street compound because the race compound would be a little bit too obnoxious. They might be having, you know, that screech that you normally get with race compound. Uh, so we don't wanna have to be dealing with that on a car that is gonna be designed to be a daily driver. We do wanna have that extra, you know, brake braking force. So that's why we wanted to go with the, the big brake kit. But we still want it to be a nice, enjoyable ride. You know, something that's classy, something that's can be, you know, normal to, to normal people when you bring your friends on along for a ride. They're gonna be like, what's wrong with your brakes? And you know, they're not gonna know that we have race, pad, race brakes on. So with the street pad, they're actually really good even on track. Uh, we tested them out in the Fiesta ST. The, it was out braking every single car on the track. Obviously the Fiesta is a really light car with this same exact brake caliper set up, 330 rotors with the eight piston fronts. Um, so we know these are gonna be more than capable. I had these on my first IS300. I had, uh, had them in black actually on my first IS300 and oh, they were amazing. They were amazing, I really love them. Even as a daily driver, having these brakes really saved me because if someone was to cut you off or traffic would just you know, stop, you know, and you know, you guys know how it is, but sometimes somebody just stops abruptly because there's like debris in the road. With these brakes, even as a daily driver, like they were a lifesaver pretty much because you can stop on a dime. You can stop instantly, which really helps out. That way you never, you know, rear end anybody. So look at that. And there we go. Brakes are done. We really don't even need to do anything else. These uh, little clips here are what hold the pads down in place. And look at that. There is no overhang on the on the rotor. So this is, you know, the perfect setup. It's specifically engineered for the car. And there we go. So now the next thing we need to do is install our brake lines. And that is gonna be by removing this banjo bolt that comes already pre-installed on the caliper. It's got kind of like a little angle to it. So we're gonna put that towards us. Put the pressure fittings around it. I get it, get it to where it's nice and snug. So it gives us a little play so we can figure out what we need to do with uh, fitment. So I know for sure this needs to be clipped over here and then we have like this little rubber grommet that's gonna be put into this piece, little bracket here that I already pre-installed. It's like a little custom piece that you can bolt to whatever and that way you have kind of like a, a spot for your line to hold on to. And then there's a little clip kind of similar to like the, the OEM ones. These ones right here, these, uh, or pretty much what's gonna be holding on the brake line up here. And you need to kind of hammer, hammer it in in that spot. There we go. So there it is guys, we got the brakes installed and uh, the car is looking that much more gorgeous when you look underneath. You know, a lot of the times this stuff is hidden, you don't really see it. People don't really care to clean it up and make it look nice, but with a build that we're trying to make be like the cleanest car or the cleanest IS300 that we've ever done. Um, we want to go all out, you know, we want to not only clean the engine bay, paint the engine bay, shave it, make the engine bay look nice, but also, you know, address other things that were going to be needed on a 180,000 mile IS300 and just make everything new again, make everything look good, make everything clean so that way when you're working, look at that, no gloves and my hands are still clean. Um, obviously I'm going to go wash them after because of the Corona, but you, you guys know what it means. And then uh, we also went ahead and installed uh, the OEM dust shield, which is also acts like a, like a brake duct, so that's kind of cool. So we wanted to keep that. Um, when, when the wheel's on here, then you see that. You can see through the front bumper, there's normally already a brake duct that goes through the front bumper, so kind of the air sends it through there, right into this. It comes into the inside. But in here, this part's obviously open, and when it's spinning forward, it's actually creating like a wind turbine on the inside of the rotor which sucks out all the air and kind of pushes it out the the sides which is what helps with a lot of the consistent braking so that way you can keep uh you know your brakes cool there will be no brake fade um i just really really thought out really well engineered and really really high quality the way that they sync plated the way they you know they do all the finishes and stuff 
it's a really nice product so i'm happy that we went with that and you know it kind of like sets off you know finishes up everything here to make everything look nice and clean uh and you know enjoyable to look at that's that's one of the main things that we like we like doing when, you know, when we're building cars making sure that everything is you know like it's kind of like a passion that we do so as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh stay tuned for the you know more content as always you guys have a great day Thank you.